And I'm not gonna scare my babies, don't even suggest it. It's a terrible idea, you should feel horrible about yourselves. What were you thinking? <sighs> I thought of it, but I think that's wrong, so. All right, everybody. We are here at the uh, setup for the Dallas Comic Con. So, yay! Get excited. We are uh, actually going to get to go and meet some of our favorite celebrities and get to talk about some interesting stuff. So, um, they're just now setting up exhibit hall, tables, a few things like that. And, uh, Hopefully when we uh, come back out later, it won't be as hard to uh, get to since I've already been here. But uh, anyway, it's a big place, a lot bigger than the last one, so hopefully we can uh, cram a lot more people in here. Let's see. VIP! Yay, yay! Hopefully we can uh, go check out what's going on in there. Hey, I'm super excited. I don't know about you guys, but this is going to be awesome. We, uh, oh, man, we've been waiting a long time to get our last uh, signature on a uh, picture that we have for Firefly. I don't know if you guys like Firefly. Hopefully you do. If you don't know what it is, you need to go watch it. But it's awesome. Uh, anyway, we've met all of the cast except for one. That's Nathan Fillion. He hasn't been in town to uh, do any of these yet. So he's gonna be here, gonna get to meet him, get his autograph, so that should be cool. And super excited. Ooh. The throom is a mess. He's sleeping in his crib though. She's so cute. He's moving. I think he's going to wake up. Yep. False alarm, I think he's going back to sleep. Or not, I don't know. Probably have time for mom to get some water. So today's going pretty well. I kind of feel like this is his channel and he's not on it enough. And it's mainly because I am not getting enough sleep. And so I end up trying to fit in like cleaning, like I vacuum holding him. So like I hold him and I vacuum the house. I can't steam for the floors as well, like I've done that, holding him, but he's trying to wake up, he's making his wake up noises. So the second nap didn't go as well as the first nap, or as the two yesterday, however, it didn't go badly. I had, I just had to put him down like three times before he really went for it, and it was like he had a little sensor in his bum, and every time he touched the bed, his crib mattress, he was like, Wah -wah -wah. um, what am I talking about? My child never cried. is like super happy you guys you just don't unless you have a kid that isn't keen on sleeping in his crib you cannot understand or have a nine month old that's still getting up to feed several times a night i've done everything that i can and my child is in the 98th percentile for height okay he's a hungry dude the doctor said that this is normal but um but now we're headed to the library to replenish our supply of reading materials for a baby boy. Some of the books I'm always sad to see go because he's like a huge fan of some of them and others like he just starts doing his little tornado twister thing in your lap the moment you pull him out. Anyway, and then we're going to try and go to the grocery store and grab three things for um, to make cakes because I want to make a cake tomorrow. I've been wanting to make like my version of a divergent cake. I don't know if y'all have read divergent. Um, that. I don't know if you've read the books or seen the movie. I haven't even seen the movie yet. I just read the book. And um, I want to make a Dauntless cake, I think. I can't tell. Anyway, I, I have this concept in my head of what it's going to look like, and I haven't done it yet. So I want to do it tomorrow. And um, Papal is coming over tomorrow, which we've decided to call Papa Papal. Um, he's coming over tomorrow. So hopefully, between the two boys, they can get the two projects done 
the um, baby mobile and then hanging the mirror in our bedroom done and then and then watch baby boy so that I can bake that cake and film that for you. Put the turtle in. Put the turtle in. No, don't eat the turtle. Ugh. Put the passy back in your mouth. Okay, now you can play with the turtle. Do you want to see dinosaur? I feel it. I feel like the passy is about to come out again. Does that go in there? Can you put it right there? Can you put the cement truck in there? No, not in the mouth. There you go. See the key goes right. Look. This is called first words. It has that giraffe thing. Sophie the giraffe on it. It says, what's in Sophie's toy box? Look. Declan. Look, Declan. Three fun toys. Which one says quack quack? Train. So that was a super successful library trip. He did not cry. My kid did not cry, people. And um, he did make noise. So like he babbled throughout the entire trip. Like we'd be walking past all these very quiet people in their little cubicles using their computers. And he's like, I'm in my mind now. And I, I can't understand why people give me looks like, your kid is so loud. And I'm like, my kid is not loud, believe it or not. He, I mean, I know I'm loud, but he's not loud. Like, loud to me is him screaming or crying or something like that. And he doesn't do that, um, generally, when we're out in public. Like, there has to be a reason for him to cry. Like, we've kept him out too long. But babbling in the library is adorable. So they had Insurgent. They had the second book in the Divergent series, which I'm excited about because I really like the book, the first one. It was good, and I liked it enough that I want to read the second one, but not enough to buy it. Like, I don't need to own it. It's not like the Harry Potter series where I feel like it is so imaginative and so amazing that I just really need to see it. Like, the Harry Potter series, I feel like, was a brand new world. Probably the way people felt when, they, when Tolkien stuff first came out, and they were like, oh my gosh, I want to live in the Shire and stuff. And that's kind of how I felt when I read Harry Potter series in college. Like, it's just amazing. Like, that woman has, like, amazing imagination. And I just, I think that's just beautiful that she could see all of that in her head and describe it and explain it in a way that all of us could experience it, too. Like, that's a gift. What are you going to do with that banana? I'm not sure it's the best plan in the whole world to give the baby bananas when we go to the store. However, it's keeping him happy. Don't bite it though, because the outside doesn't taste like the inside, fella. Yeah, I knew it was gonna go in the mouth. Okay, let me have that. Got, got a little banana brown stuff on your face there. Look, this goes in your mouth. And we have all of these handy toys. Try not to drop them on the ground. It's been pretty good actually, but I think it's time to go. I think we've reached our limit, fella. Life is like a mountain railroad with an engineer that's brave. We must make the run successful from the cradle to the grave. Watch the turns, the fills, the tunnels. Never falter, never quail. Keep your hand upon the throttle, baby, and your eyes upon the rail. Anyway, I just like that because I feel like I'm going to miss out on life if I don't step it up. I felt that way after I had my car accident. I felt like I, like, I really had a sense of that life's a gift and I'd been taking it for granted for too long and then you kind of get lulled back into it again and having Declan just made me realize that it's still like that, you know? Like, we only get this one shot, so... Anywho, in lighter news, it is Friday, people, and Hubby's off getting a haircut right now and he'll be back from doing that uh, momentarily and we're gonna have some pizza. Mmm, pizza. And then I'm getting my haircut tomorrow. I think I forgot to mention that. And I'm going to try and convince them that I can um, get some pieces of it bleached and get it turned purple because not all of it, don't freak out. I've done it once before and I really liked it. No, sir. No, sir. Baby wall. Baby wall. There's lots of things to play with over here, sir. I know the TV's not on. Get over it. You're so cute. I love you.
What are you gonna do? I love his little outfit too. It's another one of those good play outfits because it's really comfortable. So I don't have to worry about him being too hot. You're a cutie little bunny baby. Oh my gosh, you are really climbing that pillow. It's scaring mommy. Oh, the oven's preheated. Guess I should put the oven in. I mean the pizza in. <laughs> the oven in. The oven in what, you ask? I don't know. I don't know what I would put it in. Where's daddy? That's a basket. We're not going to touch that either. Hi. Oh, goodness. There he is. Daddy, look what I found. There he is. What's his basket doing here? He's been going after our shoes, and so I put a basket there for our shoes. Come here. Come here. So at least he doesn't like put going? the shoes in his mouth. <gasps> Yay, Daddy! Yay, Daddy! <laughs> yeah. He has the hiccups, and he's super frustrated at them. He's like, <laughs> and if I take the pasty yeah, out, he yells at them a little bit. Don't you? We tried a little water, and I'm not gonna scare my babies. Don't even suggest it. It's a terrible idea. You should feel horrible about yourselves. What were you thinking? <sighs> I thought of it, but I think that's wrong. So, pizza's never complete without ranch dressing. It's not true. Mm, that's true. I don't know. Very few pizzas are not good with ranch dressing, sweetie. Can I bake pineapple? I don't know. I haven't had it in so long. Did you use all the ranch? No, no. It just doesn't like you. See? That's how much ranch he needs. That's how much I need. <laughs> I just want to try it. Because it's not Hidden Valley, which he's very, he's being a brand. Great value. Because I feel like it tastes the same and I don't want to pay an extra dollar for something that tastes the same. I'd rather take that dollar and do something meaningful with it. Look. Don't be like don't buy be, this yummy DiGiorno pizza. Don't be negative. It's pizza party Friday night. Pizza, pizza party, party Friday night. night. Pizza party Friday night. Hey, hey. Say, <gasps> pizza party Friday night. Pizza party Friday night. Pizza party Friday night. Daddy, I would like some pizza. May I have a bite of your pizza, please? Here, here is some oh. blended pizza. Oh, I'm so excited about my blended pizza. Let me have it. Oh, oh, it is so good. Oh, it's so good. It's pepperoni. No, it's not. And hamburger. If I were going to give him blended up pizza, it wouldn't have meat in it. Then what's the point? <laughs> You're going back to the dark side soon, aren't you? <laughs> Told you. He's ridiculous. <laughs> your daddy's going crack, Declan. If you're watching this from the future, your daddy probably smells like bacon right now. Nope. I want to kidnap him, and we're going to go to a wing place, and we're just both going to be covered in wings and milk. <laughs> I don't know why milk. Yeah, his wings are spicy. He's a cool guy. Better not get my baby. Lola. Better not get my baby wings. Eat them right. Eat them right. Easy. Eat them. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Mmm. You having fun with your daddy? Here it comes. Choo choo. Pizza. That is not pizza. My turn. Try some of this ranch. Maybe you like it better, you never know. Is that a no? It's tangy and delicious. Uh. Hey, buddy. How can we get my buddy? I can't give. I give. I give. <laughs> Buddy, buddy, I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. I'm. Ah! <laughs> I can get you. I can get you. I can get you. I can get you. Ah! It's so funny. It's funny. The tickles come. When the tickles come to get him. <clears throat> hey, buddy. You think about your mobile up here, huh? Ooh. We need to hang it up here, don't we? What are you eating, Mickey? How are you biting his ears? Hi, everybody. 
Hey buddy, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come get him. Come come and get him. Come and get him. <laughs> Being read to is the best part of bedtime. How about eight more books, please? Yeah. Ladybug Girl says goodnight to Floppy Bunny. Panda, Unicorn, Gorilla, Wolf Pup, Bluebeard, and Goat. And then she says goodnight to Bingo. Her puppy dog. <coughs> Sweet dreams, says Mama and Papa. Shh. Ladybug Girl whispers, I'm asleep. <coughs> Say na na ba ba. Na na. Can you say ba ba? Bye bye.